Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently Monday the 23rd of November 2020. I'm currently reading A Piano in the Pyrenees by Tony Hawks. It's about him moving to France, basically. <laughs> Uh, non-fiction like humorous travel writing I guess I'm enjoying it and a full review will be coming soon so that's where we're at all right la it is um, what day is it it's Wednesday it is 8 49 a.m. on the morning of Wednesday the 25th of November uh, Susie came over last night and we made pizza it was delicious I should have got some footage actually I did post on uh, Dane's vegan journey on Instagram if you want to check that out um, I'm currently just being productive, uh, watching The Chase. I finished reading, uh, what was it called? Oh, uh, Piano in the Pyrenees by Tony Hawks. That was very good. Uh, and now I'm reading Towards Zero by Agatha Christie, which is a superintendent battle novel, so I, I, can't, I can't say I'm super stoked about it, to be honest. Over here, I have a big old box of books there. Uh, I've already been through it and I've found out what I want to keep and Susie's picked some out for her parents for Christmas and a couple out for herself and then the rest I'm going to shove on eBay. So I will be doing a haul soon. I guess I might do a standalone video on it. Um, we'll see. So there is that. Uh, radio show went out yesterday. I've got next week's interview ready. <sighs> so that gives me like a week. Basically the show's all made. I've just got a proof listen to it I guess and make any final changes um, but I will be doing that soon I should actually be able to get two radio shows ready to go in advance um, so I'll have that one ready to go and then there's another one which is going to be a spare um, just in case I don't get a guest done some week so yeah there's that I actually need to start thinking about who my next guest is going to be as well so I'll have a think, maybe I'll talk to a salt. A salt might be good. Somebody I work with, she runs Sign Dance Collective. Although I've kind of been saving her because sometimes she has specific stuff to promote, but I suppose she has some stuff now. I'm going to ask her. Yeah, she can be my next one. Hello, it's vlog time, I guess. It's Thursday, it's 11 pm. I'm trying to be productive. Finish reading Towards Zero by Agatha Christie. So I am now reading. It's gone. Well, I'm now reading another book anyway, which I guess I'll update you on later. Where is it? Oh, here it is. I'm reading Mill Girl, The Diary of Eliza Halstead, Manchester, 1842 to 1843 by Sue Reed. Um, I got this just with a big bundle of books that I got for someone else and um, thought I'd read it. Plus also Sue Reed is my uh, girlfriend's birth name. So it seemed like it had to happen. Uh, oh, hello. I'm just by the oven here because I've been making biscuits. Um, nice biscuits. I think they're called nice. I'm sure. That, I, I guess they could be called nice. Coconutty biscuits. Anyway, here we go. Let's get them out of the oven without burning myself. Don't be a dickhead. Oh, that back one's a little bit burned, but you get the picture. They look pretty good to me. And like here are some I made earlier. So that's where I'm at and I'm going to love you and leave you because I'm being as productive as I can this evening. Getting a lot of filming done, adding stuff to my eBay store because I've got a load of books in the post. Um, and also just sorting out my house ready for the weekend so I can have a good weekend. And doing lots of work as well, freelance bits and bobs. And I've almost finished writing the third Lightfold book actually. Yes, I know Biggie, I'll come and let you out in a minute. Peace. Hello, it is Friday morning, it is 11.20am, I haven't slept, I'm now going to try and not sleep, um, Susie's going to come over this evening, except she's not going to come over if, if I sleep, because if I sleep and become nocturnal, then she won't get any sleep, so I have an incentive to stay awake, stop beeping at me, and then I'll have a, hopefully a really nice sleep this evening. I've been doing some work, cracking on with that, um, and I've also, I've been reading, uh, where's it gone, over here, um, Mill Girl, The Diary of Eliza Helstead, Manchester 1842 to 1843, by Sue Reed. Um, it's kind of like, I guess, historical fiction, but for kids, quite enjoyable, um, blazed through it today, so, um, kind of one of the reasons I wanted to read it is because 
that's the Susie's birth name as well. It's not her who wrote it, obviously. Um, but also, I really like historic stuff in general. And actually, um, so I finished reading the main story, and there's maybe 20 pages at the end, which is like more about the conditions uh, in Victorian Manchester, you know. So I'm I'm quite looking forward to getting stuck into that. Uh, after that, I'm going to read The Cat in the Hat Comes Back by um, Dr. Seuss because I got a load of Dr. Seuss in the post. So they work as like quite nice and quick little palate cleansers. And then I'm probably going to read Dolphin Song by Lauren St. John. Um, she's an author. I've read a bunch of her books. Um, that I've, I've, I've slowly been picking them up in like charity shops and book exchanges and stuff. Uh, uh, and the reason that I like, look out for her is that uh, she's one of the first authors I ever interviewed for my book blog, socialbookshelves.com. So, um, and that's kind of particularly cool because she approached me as well. So it's nice, like, when I'm out and about and I see her stuff in the shops. So that's where I'm at. I've got the last few bits of housework to do, mainly just got the washing up to do, really, now, I think. Um, yeah, so that's coming along nicely. And I'm watching The Chase. Oh, and I listened to uh, an audiobook of Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie. It was a uh, David Suchet was reading it, and he he played Poirot in the TV series. And his his accent was so bad in it, like it was quite uncomfortable to listen to. And like at times I was like, Are you trying to do Poirot? Because like it sounded like he was doing a bad Asian accent. Um, and yeah, it was just weird. So. I'm not, I wasn't convinced by, by David Suchet's reading of it, um, and also one of the one of the discs was missing from the download I found for it, um, which is a shame. But hey ho, I mostly re-listened to Death and Death on the Nile, so that's where we're at, uh, and I'm off to go and be more productive. Hello, it is uh, Sunday, the 29th of November. Uh, it's been a good weekend, so Susie came over on Friday and we watched a movie and then on Saturday we nipped into town and then watched, well we watched loads of stuff. We watched like three movies this weekend I think, two or three, no two movies, a stand-up special and a Netflix original <laughs> series. Um, I'm currently doing some pickling, uh, so I'm making some pickled shallots and I've also made, well I say made, I got um, a jar and some olive oil and some sun-dried tomatoes and so I'm doing sun-dried tomatoes in olive oil. So it's all very exciting, it smells quite a lot of vinegar in here. I just had some tofu, some like southern fried tofu, so that was nice. And what else? I've got some books to haul. Um, and I'm just doing some work really, you know how it is. And uh, being productive and shit. I might do a walk later, although it's getting dark, so now I don't know if I'm going to be asked. But uh, I couldn't before because of my Fitbit. My Fitbit ran out of... Uh, uh, no, 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 no. My, I might... Blah, blah, blah. The strap to my Fitbit broke. So, um, why is it... It's already gone like a kind of cut funny colour. That's impressive. But yeah, I had to get a new strap. So now my Fitbit is back. So now I can get back to my daily walk. So... I guess I need to update you guys on some books. So I read um, Mill Girl, The Diary of Eliz Eliza Halstead, Manchester 1842-43, by Sue Reed. Um, that's my girlfriend's birth name as well, which I think is kind of cool. My hair is so floofy at the moment, my god. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, like a fictitious diary, basically set during sort of Victorian uh, England in Manchester. It follows this, this girl who works in the mills. It was a cute little book. I read it like within about 12 hours or something. So uh, I, I whizzed through it because uh, it's got pretty big print. But yeah, it was good. It was um, like historical fiction for, I guess, for teenagers really. And I, I think that's a good idea. And it like teaches you a lot as well. And I quite enjoyed the epistolary format as well. So um, yeah, it was all right. 3.5 out of 5, I think. Then I read a couple of Dr. Seuss books. So I read The Cat in the Hat Comes Back which was probably a 4 out of 5, and Green Eggs and Ham, which was like a 3.5 out of 5. Um, I mean, uh, it's not very vegan, is it, Green Eggs and Ham? But but hey-ho. Um, yeah, I enjoyed both of them. They were good. Um, I got a job lot of um, Dr. Seuss books online, so just been sort of slowly working through them. And now I'm currently reading Dangerous Days on the Victorian Railways by Terry Deary, who is the author of Horrible Histories. It's enjoyable enough so far. Um, I've been learning some stuff and whatnot, and I'll be doing a full review of that sometime soon. 
But that seems like a good place to leave this video. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. I'm off to finish watching Sharp's Challenge with Sean Bean. Farewell.